Greetings YouTube, it is once again very late, unless you're waking up across the pond since you're six plus hours ahead of me. Uh, but I was stunned that so many of you reached out to me to tell me you opened Five Star Wolverine. Now of course this is only for Apple because Kabam made a stupid, insulting decision to only market it to Apple users. Once again, reinforcing this notion that Android users get screwed over in MCOC. At least you've got those Google Play points back rewards, especially before July 4th. But other than that, I don't know how I can argue with you that you didn't get screwed over because Sabretooth is not Wolverine. Everybody should have had access to the $30 Grandmaster Bundle, which given is still a terrible drop rate for Wolverine. And yet so many people got him, including Mr. Lightning, who decided that he would take him straight up to rank 5, Awaken him with the Awakening Gem. And even though he's not Sig 200, I think he's about Sig 90. And so he's going to do this fight without a uh, any synergies or boosts. So you can see the uh, the PI for, for Wolverine is definitely one of the worst parts of fighting with Wolverine. I don't understand why his prestige is just so freaking terrible. But... Really, the whole argument for Wolverine is really twofold. It's the bleed damage, and it's the regen. Now, it's difficult to see how the regen is when you don't get hit, which I guess is a good uh, compliment to Mr. Lightning on his skills, but really the goal is to, uh, is to test it out. So I haven't seen this yet. I told them that I would just pop it in, internet phrases, before I went to bed and see how, uh, how it looks. I do think that... If this was before six stars, we'd be losing it right now. We'd be going crazy as a community. But now he feels almost more like a trophy champ than a uh, a champion that you must have to add to your roster. I mean, he's going to be really great for incursions. Probably has the best regen in the game. But the time has passed for Wolverine to be viewed like Omega Red or Sunspot or Heck. Maybe even since Dork Lessons clearly knows something we don't about the buff coming Magneto's way, maybe he'll trail Magneto. Which, if we live in a world in 2020 where 5-star Magneto gets more hype than 5-star Wolverine, I truly know that MCOC is evolving, or maybe in some cases devolving, I don't know. So, you know, the bleed damage, 298 per tick, that's okay. I mean, it's certainly not the best that I've seen or even close to with so many bleed champs. And it really is too bad because um, I would have thought that the damage would have been higher. Now you can see 635 ticking up uh, besides that. So, you know, there is some bit of a bleed ramp up. But at the same time, it's just, I don't know, kind of kind of average. So, yeah, he um, he's not a, at all a Realm of Legends slayer, right? This is a longevity champ, somebody that's going to basically stay alive thanks to the regen which we can see is 121 per tick with just over one bar of power uh, which is good right it's real good and he's going to be somebody that in alliance quest if you take on a path especially where you're not fighting bleed immune champions he's going to keep you alive i don't know at this point given all the bs new nodes particularly in alliance war just how uh how effective he's going to be now i'm glad that he's gotten hit because I want to see what the region's like with two to three bars of power. So hopefully, there we go. Okay, so he's got 305 region per tick. And again, I don't know his mastery setup. It might uh, have a chance to be improved upon if he adds a couple points in different masteries. But 305 health per tick is pretty dang amazing. I mean, think about it. That's pretty much a thousand plus health every couple of seconds when the power uh, is maxed. So he's doing what we expect a five star Wolverine to do. He's causing a decent amount of bleed damage. In this case, it's 322 and 298 per tick. But we have so many incredible bleed champions that have been added into the game since Wolverine came in years and years and years ago that the hype for the bleeds is not what it used to be. And the region is solid. I still think he could be the best region champ in the game but you have to ask yourself at the end of the day when you're spending money or units to try to get a champion uh, you have to ask yourself what exactly am i going to use this champion for every day am i going to use this guy in event quest every day probably not 
Am I going to use him in Alliance Quest or Alliance War? Probably not. Definitely not on defense. So you're probably going to have him mostly as a trophy champ and or an incursions slayer, but so many different champs, even of the uh, Wolverine variety from X-23 to Old Man Logan are incursion slayers as well. So it's not that I'm unimpressed, but I just think it's a little late in the game to feel the kind of hype for five-star Wolverine that we would have felt two years ago. And on top of that, it's just straight marketing BS and a huge insult to all Android users that you have to find a way to log into an Apple device just for the chance to throw $30 their way for a very microscopic chance at this five-star Wolverine you see in front of you. And then, of course, he needs to be awakened and at a uh, high SIG to be effective. And this is certainly not his best potential as he is not even halfway to SIG 200, but it is still a, uh, a snapshot of his potential. So thank you again to Mr. Lightning for submitting this via Dropbox to my uh, line before bed. Are you hyped for Five Star Wolverine? Or like me, do you feel like he's going to be a solid champion, but somebody that just would have been a lot more exciting had they actually given it to us a couple years ago, especially before Six Stars came out? Comment below, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting the Marvel Casino of Champions YouTube channel, even at 1 a.m. <laughs>